Hello everyone, this is Secret Lair here, and welcome to another video. So do people have been asking for a tips and tricks um, video. I know there's a lot of these out there, that's usually why I hesitate. So I'm going to try and give my best advice. Um, I'm going to start with the advice for whales and dolphins. So if you want to spend the minimum amount of money to get the most out of the game, um, buy these monthly passes. They stack on one another, so you can buy both of them for $20, and they stack, so you get all those rewards. Um, that will give you a nice boost in diamonds each day that'll boost you more than other people and get you ahead of the curve. Um, say you're just starting off and you're looking for something. Uh, these limited time offers is what you really want to look at. So if you're at the end of a season or if you come in at the, like, after, you know, these 30 days, so you come in a month after a new uh, update, hold off on spending money until the next update. Yeah, it'll stall your progress, but some of these limited time offers are really good. This one that just came out, uh, basically you're going to get, this is about 90, su 100 summons right here, and then 60. So you get 165 summons with this banner, which is which is honestly pretty good. You're going to get a lot of good units just from 165 uh, summons. Um, normally that's around, like a uh, 100 summons is about when you should expect to get the newest hero that comes out. So that could be really good. There's also this one that I think is honestly the best one. Uh, it is the, it all depends. I mean, this the name changes, but uh, it gives you 9,000 and 100 diamonds 250 royal plush chests. That's annoying. And 125 royal rune chests. Uh, these weapons are probably the main thing that are going to get you ahead in this game. Um, units are super easy to summon for. Like, this gives you 100 summons. So, like, it's really good just like this. But it also gives you weapons. And weapons are going to get you ahead of the game. Um, so, when buying stuff, like, sure, you could get guaranteed runes here and that is beneficial if you have the weapons but you need the weapons to be able to enchant them honestly if i had 200 dollars to drop i'd probably buy one of each of these just because having a guaranteed 100 of these that's enchanting two to three weapons uh, i think it's like three to four actually but that's you do need to get enchantments to be pretty good and those can take a while to open these chests and get what you need um so that's some thoughts on that this is definitely not worth it. Um, 300 trillion, no. Just, I, I don't think it's worth it. What you spend money on in this game is buying these royals. So you might as well just buy all the buy the royal and rune chests directly than buy 300 trillion. Um, granted, 300 trillion long-term wise is going to get you a bunch of these, probably more of them. Um, but I, I don't think that's amazing. Uh, this one, I mean, it's cheaper for the runes. I guess it's okay. Uh, eh, I probably wouldn't buy it. This one I probably wouldn't buy. Sure, you get runes and, ro and a, a weapons chest, royal chest, but it's not. It, the super chests are way better. These super ones are just, if you can buy them, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, this one, again, like these are cheaper options if you don't, if you don't, if you want to be more conservative with your money. It's just you get more bang with your buck when you do more bulk. Just don't do it often. Don't break your bank unless you're fuck unless you're rich. Uh, don't do these often. Just one time when you first start the game, like what it, budget yourself is what I'm saying. Like say okay, I'm only gonna spend this much money on a game. Be smart. Uh, beyond that, uh, Sometimes grabbing an SS Plus from the random... I don't, I don't know if I can get it to pop up. Maybe I can. Um, sometimes you can get stuff to pop up uh, when you just go into another tab. It doesn't look like it. So that's... But yeah, sometimes you get this like five-minute thing you can buy off of. And that five-minute thing is... You can get an SS Plus unit, so that saves you summoning stuff, but it costs $100, so I tend to say don't do that. Just summon 100 times. Um, Alright, so that's for spending money-wise. I think that's probably the smartest things to buy in the store. Um, 
I wouldn't go for... I mean, they have these monthly and weekly deals um, that are decent. Like, why not? I mean, these aren't that expensive, and they give you some super chests. Um, so you could just top off on weekly, monthly, and dailies. Um, but, like, buying these... Eh. 900 diamonds for $100, like, why are you going to spend $900 for 100 diamonds when you can get 900 diamonds from the special offers, spending $100 on these special offers, like, I, like, I don't, I don't, they, they need to, like, special offers are, like, a first time only, but, like, it says double first time, they, they need to, if he has these monthly and these offers, Limited time offers that are just ridiculously good. Um, I guess you have a limit of two. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. If you, if you can only buy two of them, I guess that makes sense. Another one's just a one-time deal. Uh, basically, use up the limited, use up the bonuses, but don't buy beyond that. All right, so um, that is money. Let's get to uh, coinage. So you want gold, right? You want your gold to look like this, because you're like, holy crap, that looks amazing. I'm just going to collect this now. I usually only collect it once a day, but I'm going to collect it now. So I'm going to go... I'll go here. I think I have stuff built here. So I'm building houses, quick and easy, quick and dirty. Uh, two... Can I zoom out? Oh, man. No, not zoom in, zoom out. All right. So you can see farmland and houses here. When you zoom out, you can see I have a whole lot more farmland than houses. You want to build in a 2 to 1 ratio. So this is always 100%. That way you're not losing out on anything. I have zero wood. That's kind of what you want. Um, and so when you're going through this, sometimes you can push and manually go for things. These things are like Castle Ruins, Dark Mage Tower, um, Necro Castles. Sometimes you want to push for those because those can give you like summoning scrolls or something. Or like extra diamonds, like 10 or 20 diamonds or something like that. Um, so sometimes it's nice to just push for those. Like if I go to this, uh, where I haven't completed everything, zoom out, go all, oh my gosh, this one's so big. All right, so I have all this area that I still need to go to. So up here, I know I'm going to get good stuff if I go way up here. This, I'm probably going to get something good. This, I'm like, what, what am I, like two away from this, three away from this? This, I'll probably get something good. Um, so it's always good to sometimes push for those. So like, oh yeah, let me do some of that, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, otherwise, 2 to 1 ratio, that's Conquest, whatever. Conquest, you want to use your arena team, um, just because arena team gets you the most wins, therefore it's actually kind of good for Conquest. Um, usually if something's good for arena, it's good for Conquest. Um, other ways for money generation, you got this training area. So important thing is, so sometimes you got to change up your team. Always remember to collect from here before you change up your team. Because as soon as one of these goes, guys go to level one, um, I think you might lose out on coins. You might not lose out on coins, but you stop generating coins. So you always want to collect before you change up your team. And always make sure that, like, okay, so I have level 561 out of 600. You want to see that. You don't want to see max level on these, because then you're losing out coins. Um, all right, so I collected that. Okay, so that's training. So that's how you generate gold coins on a, on a daily basis. Guild bosses you also want to do. You want to score as high as possible on these guild bosses, because you get rewards. Look, oh, look, six trillion coins. That's actually pretty good. You know, that's, that's nice. Six trillion feathers. And then royals and that. I'm upset with my guild because it took, like, look at this. We got 99 overkills right now. And this is day two. Like, why do we have killed it? Why did we kill it twice when we killed, killed it once yesterday? Well, what are you doing, MC David? Um, anyways, uh, so <laughs> you can tell I'm in, like, a special mood right now. Um, okay, so one of my favorite things to do is, okay, so I go reforge, right? You got to do reforge for the daily reforge. Uh, you see that I have all these, like, freaking common trash things that, like, take no money to reforge. Reforge costs 237 gold, though. That, that is nothing. So what I'll do is once a day, I'll just do this until it gets to 15. You might be like, Secret Lair, what, what? why do you do this? Oh, look, oh, boom, maxed. Um, 
so I do it one because I need reforge for dailies. But also when you go to this achievement list, you have reforge. So this thing. Um, when you first start off, I get this to 10,000. You notice I got to 10,000 real quick, and then just stop. Like, but I, I mean, I still push. Like, I've been playing this for a long time, and I'm not at 20,000. I know some people who are. But yeah, I mean, like, you get a bunch of, like, I'm at 13, so if you imagine, like, every single level, you're getting 100 diamonds. Yeah, just fucking cheese it. Um, that's what I did for a while. Excuse my language. I'm gonna have to, yeah. So, cheese it. Um, this, <laughs> I'm gonna have to be like, no, not friendly. But yeah, so, so cheese that event, that's a good way to just get diamonds real fast. Go up to 10,000, stop there. Um, I don't think it's worth the time to go to 20,000. You might as well just do conquest and stuff. Because you'll get 100 diamonds in conquest faster than you'll get reforge 10,000 items. Um, so that's kind of all the ways to get coins. Um... And then now I'm going through diamonds, ways to get diamonds. So the best thing is to join a guild, and a guild that's active. So the main guild you're going to want to look at is the families, the main families of guilds. Well, I guess I don't really need to go to Discord to show you. So you go to guild rankings, you go to top. Where, where's my, what rank, why am I rank 16? Oh. Um, so you see Legion here. Legion is a big, like, the best guild right now. Um, they're awesome. They're they're a good group of people. Um, you got Dice also. So you have Slice and Dice there. I don't see... Where's Dice's? Oh, there's Insta Dice. And there's Dice. So you can see there's Dice. Um, I think there's several others. There's the Effin family. That's mine. Um... There's a few others too, I know. So like those are the three main ones is those three I just meant. There's Delta, I believe, because you saw Delta One and then there's Delta Zero. So Delta's another family. I think they're a newer family. Um and then Anti, I want to say anti's a family too. Um, so it's best to join one of these families, like, yeah, you got anti-guild too. So it's best to join one of these families, because every two weeks the season ends, and you can see the season bonus, player rank, no, guild rank, it's, yeah. So here's my season pool right now. So at rank 16, which sucks, um, I would be getting times 4.4. Normally my guild is like rank 12. Um, but we've been having really bad seasons lately. So like 11, 12, that's times 5, but like, okay, times 5, 4.4. So this times 4.4, I'm already getting like, I'll, I'll easily have 80, th 80 trillion. Usually I have like 160 or 180 trillion um, coins. So that's another great source of coins and great source of diamonds. Um, you can see ranking rewards somewhere. I don't remember where ranking words. I think if I go arena and I go info. No, well, I can show you guys through the through here. So if you look at the ranking rewards, you got uh, I really need to clean up this season roster read. Oh jeez. Where is my okay? So this is some guild boss rewards. Huh. I'm not sure where my weekend rewards are. Um, guild raids. Oh, jeez. Huh. I can't find it right now. I'm blind. You guys have probably seen it and are like, what the fuck? Are you? Where? There, it's there. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to have a sensor. Gosh dang it. I need to stop cursing. Um, you see the guild boss words can be nice. You always need to do guild bosses. Um, yeah, I don't know where my... Huh, oh yeah. I mean, the rewards are nice, like, so at my ranking, um, so I'm this rank right now, um, you get 
a lot of rewards. I, I know there's a way to check the rewards. I'm just being dumb right now. Um, I have a little bit of a headache, so, you know. But yeah, this rank, you're getting like 3,500 diamonds uh, a season. Um, so that's really nice. On top of like any guild rewards you get. So, you know. Jeez, why am I searching anything? Rank bonus, you see at 16, we're getting 477 at 14,500. So, like, around 500 if you're in the top 20 guilds. Um, so that's nice. So, okay, I'm getting, like, 4,000 diamonds at the end of a season. Um, just from that. So that's really something to think about um, to get diamonds. It's probably the best way to get diamonds. You get a lot of experience. You know, do your dungeons, all that. That's self-explanatory. Um... Other advice, so the best advice I can give about heroes. So team composition, pay attention to the top 10 players, top, well, okay, top 50 players uh, when it comes to what the best team is. So you go player rankings, you go, to, you see I'm like 256. The last day I changed my, build, my team up. So you see this team, it's Lucky, Hercules, Alpha, Aphrodite, and Bloody Mary. I think that's still the meta. I don't think the new unit really changed too much. This guy has got Ho Yi. Um, Ho Yi's changed with the recent update. Again, same. Like you, you'll, you can just look at them and see what the meta is. It's the easiest thing to do is look at the top players. So looks like people are switching out Aphrodite for Ho Yi, which is fine. He got he got a buff um, because he was garbage, um, which makes sense. Since this person's using Nutcracker, what the MT bowl? Interesting. Um, sometimes, so mo most players, you see here, like there's only one Legion person up here. Uh, Slice and dice, Delta Zero. Like some of these people only care about being in the top. Um, all the time. But that doesn't really matter until the very last day. So you'll see the the top change a lot. So. Beyond that, so if that's for arena meta, sometimes you can catch people using their raid team, and that's awesome. So right now I'm always I'm always using my raid team. You see I'm using constant. Um, I highly suggest not using constant. The only reason I use constant is my t the people I face are so low level I can get away with it. Um, he doesn't have much on the line of survivability. I'll do a video on him um, shortly, maybe. We'll see. Um, but, like, okay, so when his HP falls below 66, he takes 85% less damage and gains one extra charge on hit. Um, so he takes less damage when he's hit. Um, he could use a third passive, but whatever. Um, and then he unleashes, he does 100% damage to three random enemies, deals 100% more damage to enemies with more max HP than constant. So the nice thing about him is that uh, like I could show you but like he just does a bunch of AOE he just that's all um, and that's what you want to do for raids you want to do as much damage as fast as possible so you see he has 10 charges but like I end up doing like three like one to three AOEs per fight and it's ridiculous um, Hercules is the bane of my existence but like that's kind of nice that he just boom, boom, boom. You see him do it. I mean, I wish it was, his AOE wasn't so weak. Like, his AOE is pretty dang weak. But it's really nice that it goes off constantly. Um, this guy is... You, you want to... I use him. I think a lot of people use Zeus for raids. Because if you can get this to go off at, like, 5 seconds, um, which normally goes off at, like, 7 seconds... Um, so if you can shorten it by two seconds by getting him hit, it'll go off sooner. Um, so you, you see this team of mine is way different than the meta. So one of my biggest suggestions um, is to have one of each unit. Plain and simple. Have Always keep one of each. Do not merge unnecessarily. So um, we'll go to this screen. Oh, jeez, did I just go to the wrong one? We'll just squad there we go. So always keep one of each. So you see, I'll, I'll have one of each. I could get my meta team, my main team all up to, to four S's. Um, I actually did housing SS plus here. I should have never done that. But like, 
you'll see some of these units are SS plus, but I mean, like, if you keep one of each, that's good because you never know when the meta will change and you need to bring someone back, back up. And I also always, I mean, not everyone follows this, but I suggest having one of each unit at triple S, SSS. The reason for that is it gives you a lot of flexibility without losing too much power. So, so sure, I could have an arena team that is quad S and be higher in the rankings. I don't know, like I could be probably top 90, top 80 if I had a full SSS as a team. But weapons matter more, so focusing more on weapons is, I think, more advantageous to a certain point. And having a full catalog of SSS heroes allows you to adapt when updates happen and you change the meta. When you want to experiment with bosses and doing better and so on and so forth, it allows me a lot of flexibility to test out builds. Um, so I highly suggest sticking with SSS and only bringing up characters to quad S if they're really solid units. So I brought Bloody Mary up to quad S. I brought Easter Bunny up to quad S and I wish I didn't because he kind of fell out of the meta. I think, I think people use him in raids though. Um, I haven't had great effect using him in raids, but yeah. I brought Leonidas up to quad S because I'm always going to use him for bosses, period. He's always in the boss meta. So I'm going to use him. So I keep him around. Grey Worm is a solid unit that goes in and out of the meta. So I felt like it was fine bringing him up to quad S. I brought him Heimdall up to SS plus stupidly. Like some of these things I did, I regret. I wish I had all these guys at SSS and only had certain ones at quad S. Um, Helsing's just a solid unit too that always finds uses like you'll find uses for him. He goes in and out of metas all the time. Um, but yeah, so I would only invest a unit to be quad S if it's a really, really, really good unit, like Bloody Mary right now. Beyond that, I would keep one of, one of each. Um, I think that's a big suggestion where it won't, because you never know when you're going to summon again. Sure, you get a lot of summons, but you never know when you're going to summon one of these guys again. It might like I've seen people go like a year without Zeus. I still know people that don't have Zeus, and they're just biting their tongues right now because they they're losing out in the arena, in the raids. Um. So big point is uh, raid meta and arena meta. Like it used to be the same, because arena used to be all the heavy damage, hard hitting units, but then things changed. Uh, these units that slowed down fights came out. So raid meta has now changed to you want the fastest you want the fastest team that's going to complete things the fastest. So um, that's that's why a lot you'll see a five range meta where you have five ranged units. Um, this does mean you need three sets of mage gear. So you see my mage gear is a little lacking. I only have. I'm always lacking on, I need to invest more in weapons. I always invest, like, to get an SSS unit, and I kind of regret doing that. I wish I invest more in, in weapons. Um, so that's something to take away from this, you know? Like, uh, don't always get everything to SSS. You know, I've been playing this for a year, and I almost have all units at triple S, and I'm complete free to play. So just some things to think about, like, weapons, trump, Mostly everything when it comes to boosting your power. You want to boost your power faster? Buy weapons. Um, so yeah, uh, I think those are some good suggestions. It's, oh, uh, when summoning, always do 10 times summon. Never do one time summon. You see like this costs 900, that costs 100. You do 10 of these, you just lost 100 diamonds. Always do 10 times summons. I know some people have like a trouble like just maintaining diamonds and they're like have this impulse to always like, oh, I have 200 diamonds. I, oh, I'm just, yeah. Do your best to resist it because realize every single time you click this, you're losing 10 diamonds. Always 10 times summon. The only reason I have 21 here is because of summoning scrolls. Um, summoning scrolls came out. We got nine summoning scrolls, so I was able to do nine single summons. Um, 
So I think this salvage advice is still, I think it's still a thing where you wait till like you're 350 plus to salvage your green units. Cause I think it goes up with your level, how much you get off each one. So like I get 82 billion off one of these guys. So that's something to think about holding off as long as you can. So I think usually we say around 350, 400, um, before you salvage, um, green units, B tier units. Uh, merging wise always. So a units are not really like don't invest in a units. Um, you want to always invest in S units. The only time you'll see me, where's my Edward? Where the fuck is my Edward? Did I merge my Edward? I probably did. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Yeah, it looks like I did. Uh, so Edward's like probably the only one I wouldn't merge in. Obviously I merged my Edward cause he's not here. He should be. Oh no, no, he's not there because, um, cause you can't merge him can't merge him anymore so I should still have Edward no 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 I use merge yep I merged my Edward I'm a dummy but yeah um so <laughs> I'll have to bring up another Edward eventually so yeah most of the A units don't worry about merging up um beyond that is there any other stuff most of these ranks mean nothing other than to make you feel good about yourself Oh, uh, I said my summoning advice. So I didn't I didn't write all these down. I'm just doing it off the cuff. Um, casually. Um, but this world event, always do the world event as far as you can. Don't scoff on it. It's free diamonds. I didn't do it last week. Oh, that was bad on me. But yeah, just do it all the way as far as you can. Um, there's no reason not to. It only helps you and your guild out, like... Do it. Um, you'll see these. So eventually you get to the point where you can buy these. And generally I will buy it. So today I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy less because I need to start buying more runes because um, I'm running low on runes. So and I don't want to spend my money too fast. Basically my goal is to get this down to um zero right at the end of the season. So I try to pace myself. Um, so I started off at like 160 trillion. So I'm at 80 trillion and the season's half over. So I'm, I'm basically on pace. Um, did I not, oh, I didn't know no, open those chests. Oh well. All right. So I think that's, that's most of my advice. If I think of anything, I'll put in the, I'll put it in the description down below. If I think of anything else, um, overall, so I guess I could give some forma like formation advice. Um, I'll do an enchanting video later on, but so formation, you see, this is a shit formation. Like it's terrible. Uh, constant is there in the front, barely in front of Zeus. So constant gets hit first and then Zeus will get hit if there's another, um, melee unit. And then because constant is so close to the back here, no melee unit will go around him to attack him from the back. So like, so only Zeus and constant really get targeted. Maybe like alpha, I think alpha, I put up a little more, but yeah. So like only these units will get targeted. Um, that's why I haven't positioned the way they are, but I have other, let's see what, so this is, so here I have Rangers in the front. Melee units always get targeted first. So you put them kind of like in the back, farther back. I have lucky up ahead. So he gets targeted first. I have him this far ahead so that he ends up going like about here so that these guys might not get hit by AOE. And then I have Hercules come in later on. Uh, this is against, I mean, Hercules has special abilities, but I just let him come in later on so he can come in, stun, kill stuff and stun some more, hopefully. This works pretty well for me. There might be other formations that work. Maybe you want to move Lucky and Herc around. Um, but you see, what's this? Oh, so you see, this is Aphrodite. And then this is without Aphrodite. 
Um, I found that when I have Aphrodite, for some reason Zeus dies faster. I don't know why. Uh, he shouldn't, but he does. Um, for me, for me. Um, some things... So I will, I will say something on the enchantment side of things. So enchantment-wise... I think damage 4 is like the big boy right now. I mean, gain 15% extra damage on the item. That's nice. No one uses agility or defense boost. Power 3 goes on armor. So it always goes on armor. Almost always, unless you're a tank. Crit 4 might be good for certain units. Um, I believe Ho Yi really benefits off of crit 4. Blessing 3, no one uses. Gambit was nerfed, so no one uses... Second Wind was nerfed, so no one uses. Same with Vamp 3, no one uses. Uh, Fortify, you use on certain tank units, because it goes on a shield. And so you just get a bunch of charges, so you, like, you'll put this on your lucky shield. Besiege, you'll put on two-handed weapon. So you'll put it on, uh, I put it on my Herc. Uh, so every single time he gets two charges when he attacks. Uh, Giant Slayer is really good for face for Units that have low HP. So I believe Rangers naturally have low HP, so you give them Giant Slayer. Makes sense. If you are a low-level whale, you use Giant Slayer because you're always going to have that 115% because your characters are low-level and all your stuff comes from armor. Like, you're never going to use an armor piercer if you're a whale. It makes no sense. If you're a free-to-play experienced player, armor piercer makes sense to put on your mages because mages have the weakest armor. Um, and if you're at the very, very top late, late game, armor piercer, sword breaker. So I need to, I need to find out more about damage to enemies with higher bases. So I need to find more about like what qualifies as higher base damage, but sword breaker is good for certain units. It's good for the very last boss of the week. When you are a high level player, when you're a new player, it might be better for multiple bosses. Um, and yeah. Uh, finishing blow, not worth it, unless the enemy doesn't have armor. Uh, sh shattering blow, I mean, it's 150% bonus damage, so, like, 15% damage. Deal 115% damage, like, there's a... What, why, why would I choose shattering blow over damage for, um... The only time, I think, is when you're using a two-hander. Like, there's no reason. Like, you look at these 115%, even 120%, it's not worth it. Like, 135% is the only time it's worth it. Um, so, the, using a two-hander with Shattering Blow is the only time Shattering Blow is worthwhile, I think. And even then, you might as well use Besiege. Um, you got this transmutation thing. I, no one uses these transmutations. Um, I don't know why you would. Um, they put these in, they sound interesting, like they could change stuff up, but they really don't do anything, they're just there. Uh, magic resistance, what's the point? Unless you're facing an all-magic team, there's no point. Physical resistance, again. Um, if anything does physical damage, like you see it's bow and sword. Okay, well, if those... If a team comprises of only that, okay, I can see it worth it. Wow. Male resist is good against bosses. Why am I going over the, like, I'm not even supposed to go over these. Whatever. Projectile resist. Um, it's good against projectiles, so it's like archers and mages. That's really nice. Pretty awesome. Omni resist. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, like, like what is it? Like, eight... 16% and you can get it up to a max of like 24% I don't think it's worth it chance resists I think they nerfed right I think they nerfed that to the point where it kind of like they did they had no reason to nerf this I think they nerfed it because too many people were f finishing the weekend events so they're like okay we need like we can't have this many people finishing the weekend events um, so they nerfed it um, and then Smite. Oh, man, Smite. Look at this, Smite. 275% damage on two-handers. No wonder Leo is a fucking beast with Smite. Um, so, yeah, Smite's really good for the, the bosses. 
just because of its mechanics. Uh, repulsion, I don't think anyone uses repulsion anymore. It was nerfed because it was too powerful on constant. Constant just killed everything. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I went through way more than I meant to. This video is going to be too long. Anyways, like and subscribe, guys. Have a good one.